What's going on guys, Nico back here with another Madden video and in today's video we're going to be going over the My Team of the Week predictions for week 10. We just got off an insane week of football. So if you guys enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Comment down below what videos you guys want to see and turn the bell on so you get notified whenever I upload a video. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, link will be in the description. Uh, thank you for all the support on Friday's video, I really appreciated it. Let's get right, in, right into these predictions. Alright guys, I'm on, the, I'm, I'm on the NFL scores for this week. So I'm going to go over three set pieces for offense and defense. I'm guessing they're going to go up in overall since everything else did. So Legends went up in overall to 95s. Um, I'm going to guess that these guys go up in overall as well. So my 82, so my low set piece in the offense is going to be Patrick Mahomes. Went off last night, 35, 50, 406 yards, five touchdowns. He looked like the Patrick Mahomes that we're used to seeing. So I think he gets the low piece and gets a plus one as power up. I don't think he gets the hero since they probably have him set for a promo coming up since he hasn't gotten an upgrade all year. So I'm, I'm going to take Patrick Mahomes here to get plus one. Next guy. At 86 overall, I'm going to take Stephon Diggs, Bills receiver. I actually went to this game. He had eight catches, 162 yards, and one touchdown. He just crushed the Jets. He was he, he was getting open on the outside all the time. And then his touchdown, he, he uh, jumped over. I got it to uh, score as a 50-50 ball, and he came down with it. So, Dace, I think he gets a plus one in his power up as well. And the last guy, the 90. So, the 90, they usually like to do new players that don't really get upgrades. So, I'm going to go with DeAndre Swift. He had 33 attempts, 130 yards in that tie against Pittsburgh, which I love to see since that keeps the Ravens at the top of the AFC North. But I love to see DeAndre Swift getting that 130 yards there. And he's probably going to get the 90. I'm going to guess he's going to get the 90 as well. It could be uh, Stevenson down there for the Patriots. He had two, he had 100 uh, uh, yards for two touchdowns. It could be Stevenson, but I'm going to go with DeAndre Swift. Defense, uh, if we scroll down. I'm going to take, so for the 82, I'm going to take Devin White to get a plus one. He had 18 total tackles and 13 solo tackles and two sacks. I think Devin White could get this. If he, if he didn't already have a card, I would guess him to get, be one of the player of the weeks or like one of my predictions. But he already has an LTD, so I'm going to guess that he gets a plus uh, one. This guy at an 86, I think Eric Kendricks gets an 86. He had seven tackles, one interception, one pass deflection, and one sack. So I think Eric Kendricks gets this card here. Uh, he had a pretty good week against the Chargers now. And then the 90, I think Marcus Davenport for the Saints. He had three tackles and two sacks. I know it's not as good as Devin White, obviously, but I feel like they give the, the lower end names, uh, the 90 overalls in the team of the week, or they try to at least. So I think Davenport can definitely get this card. Now getting into player of the week, uh, he, he, he's not shown on here, but he played Thursday night against the Ravens. I think it goes to Xavier Howard. He had five tackles, one forced fumble, one fumble recovery, and one touchdown. So he stripped Sammy Watkins and he picked up his own fumble and then returned it for a touchdown. So, and he had five tackles. He played insane that game. He was reading all, through all the, sh the screens the Ravens were throwing at him. It was it was a bad game for the Ravens, but it was a good game for Xavier Howard. I think he gets the player of the week, which he could be a pretty good card. Now for the Legends, or actually, I'm, I'm going to go to the LTD. So the LTD, to come over here to Seasons. The LTD is going to be from 2014 here. I mean, from Week 10, obviously. It's going to be Patrick Peterson. Was it not 2014? Why it has me in 2018, 2014. All right, Patrick Peterson, right here. There we go. He had two tackles, two interceptions, one pick six, and two passes defended. I think he gets this card. I didn't really see anyone else that played, you know, obviously really, really, really insanely good to get the LTD uh, that didn't already have an upgrade. So, Patrick Peterson, I know he just got an upgrade in Gridiron Guardian, but it was only an 86. I think he can get a nice upgrade here. He would probably be like a 90. I think, I think he would be a 95 overall here. He would probably be the best corner in the game. Maybe other than Dion. And then going down here, I think this one's going to be from 2007. I don't know if he is from 2007. All right, it's not from 2007, so I got to find it's, it's 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 from the, the late 2000s, so we'll find it. It's right here. All right, it's 2008. Julius Peppers finally gets an upgrade, I think, here. I found that, I think he finally gets a card. Seven, he had seven tackles, one pass defended, three sacks, and two forced fumbles. Peppers hasn't gotten an upgrade all year. I think he could definitely get this card. Uh, Peppers would obviously be insane. You'd have... Really high speed, really high finesse move. Maybe a good power move, but you never know what they what, what they could do. But I definitely see him getting the card. And then the next guy from, we have to go way back to 98. All right, 1998 here, we have Eddie George for the uh, Titans at the time. 27 rushes, 134 yards, and one touchdown. There weren't really too many insane guys. I, I and Eddie George isn't like the like the most insane, insane name. He, he is a good name, though. So I think he fits right into this legend. Uh, legend should be like 98 fours this week i think that'll be uh, they, they, these these are going up and overall so fast it's progressing insanely insanely fast so very excited about that so we should get 95 ltd this week a 94 overall player of the week a 94 overall legends and then the set pieces should go up to 82 86 and 90 or 83 86 and 90 or was it wait maybe it's 83 87 and 90 i'm not sure i don't know we'll, 
We'll have to see because I'm pretty sure they're already at 82s and 86s, but yeah, they are. But so I'm, I'm, I'm all right. So I'm, I'm gonna guess to go up to 83, 87, and 90. So I mean, they're going up. We're gonna get a lot of usable cards this week if this is how it goes. It probably won't be. Never, this never is how it goes. I mean, they always switch it up, do different names. But I definitely think we could see Peppers and Peterson, uh, Xavier and Howard. They, they really could do um, Mahomes. I just, I feel like they haven't set up for a, a promo, so we'll have to see there. But if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and hit the subscribe button. Comment down below what videos you guys want to see and turn the bell on so you get notified whenever I upload a video. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. Link will be in the description. Please make sure to follow me on Twitter. I update you guys on content daily over there. Even on the weekends when I struggle to upload, I, I am still posting the new legends over there. You know, what's going on in football and in real life. So I, I, I post all the time over there. Make sure to follow me. Again, link is in the description. Check out this video that's popping up on the screen right now. And there should be two more videos in the description for you guys to check out. So... Check out all the videos. Make sure to subscribe. We're trying to grow here. So we're trying to progress. That's really it. Those are my team of the week predictions. And I'll see you in the next one. See ya.